that project is definitely moving forward. A new Margaritaville Hotel is coming to Flagler Beach. The 100-room hotel is slated to open in the fall of 2024. Larry Torino, planning director for Flagler Beach, says Margaritaville corporate must approve all plans and locally plan review will take about two months. He gives us an update on the timeline from there. To actually begin groundbreaking on the site, we're looking at sometime April. So very late March or the month of April. Flagler Beach City Commissioner Ken Bryan asked a question to which Torino responded. There's a lot of businesses on 2nd Street. I want to make sure that those businesses will be able to continue to operate within reason anyway while they're still under construction. One of the benefits of the general contractor has had several commissioned projects in very compact spaces. There's a lot of concerns about the crane locations, talking about maybe having to get air rights. There's some pretty technical portions of this project that are going to be very tedious, and I can tell you that one of the things I would recommend, and I did speak to the hotel owner, Minaj, and, and he has agreed to meet with the business owners on the surrounding perimeter area and to keep them fully appraised and to actually present the plan that they have. Flagler Beach City Manager William Whitson says with multiple construction projects happening at the same time, including the hotel, the iconic pier, and beach renourishment, it's imperative to keep the channels of communication open. This is such a compact area. There's going to be problems with parking and large vehicles and equipment and laydown areas, and there's like a million details. So we plan as a team to come together, do the coordination, work with all the impacted contractors and the people doing doing the work, both at this project, the hotel, and then beach renourishment, and then have a communication system so that we can flow that information out to those that are on the periphery of this area, which is, is going to be impacted and changed significantly. This local news is a service of Flagler County's Toyota dealer, Beaver Toyota US1 St. Augustine, here to wow you. Unemployment in Flagler County stays flat. Palm Coast Flagler Regional Chamber of Commerce President and CEO Greg Blase says the rate was unchanged at 3.2 percent. Flagler County's economy remains strong with this type of employment rate. And so the longer that we can go as a community having a low unemployment rate like this, despite what the economic national headwinds are, the better off Flagler County businesses and residents are. And the job numbers are up from 2021. We've seen 2,000 more residents with jobs than we did a year ago. And we have 100 fewer people on unemployment today than we had a year ago. So all in all, it's a positive report. It's a little scary because you see all the national news, but here in Flagler County, the news remains good. But unemployment could be on the upswing. We do expect the unemployment rate to increase slightly after December when retailers start pulling back on those holiday shopping season jobs. And, uh, of course, January and February are not big tourism months, really, for Flagler County. For Flagler's Morning News, I'm Rich Petschke. Flagler County Sheriff is honored for his service on a statewide commission. Flagler County Sheriff Rick Staley was recently honored with an award for his service as the chair of the Commission for Florida Law Enforcement Accreditation over the last year, where he was elected by his peers. Sheriff Staley explains the important function of the 180 law enforcement agencies and 40 inspector general offices accredited in Florida. My role as chair in the commission is to ensure that Florida law enforcement maintains cutting-edge standards, policies, and service to communities across Florida. This also ensures that the Flagler Sheriff's Office remains on the cutting edge of today's law enforcement. Sheriff Staley's term was the first time in FCSO's history that a Flagler Sheriff had been elected chair. The Flagler County Sheriff's Office is a four-diamond accredited agency maintaining accreditation in 911 communications, law enforcement, corrections, and ethics. For Flagler's Morning News, I'm Karen Johnson. What is your food situation this holiday season? We hear that people are in need during the holidays, whether it's to buy the kids a gift or to put food on the table. Susan King is the president and CEO of Feeding Northeast Florida. On a recent episode of Live, Shop, Work, Play, she said that there is a way for those who can help to help those in need. Our website is probably the best way to connect. That's feedingnefl.org. That's always the easiest way to connect, to get information, to volunteer, 
to make donations. Any of those, any of those things can be done through our website. King said that by donating to the food bank, you help several food banks in the area as Feeding Northeast Florida supplies them with food that goes to those in need. Live, Shop, Work, Play is on WNZF Saturday mornings at 930 and on the Flagler radio app. Tomorrow, King talks about how some recent funding is helping the food pantries. From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm Deb Albertson. And now you're up to date on Flagler's Morning News. I'm Rich Carroll.